Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at the calendar auto function. So this is a DAX function. And uh, so let's just search and the first link, we'll just click on that and look at the definition. So it says the function returns a table with a single column name date that contains a contiguous set of dates. The range of dates is calculated automatically based on data in the model. So you can liken it to your date dimension um, or a filtered date dimension which just contains data for the date range that you have. I've got this data here with me which gives me the dates. So. As you can see, I've got data from March 1980 till February 2017. So ideally, when we use the calendar auto function, it should give us the same uh, the data from at least the date, the date data from 1980 till 2017. Let's create a new table. So you click on new table here and let's call it dim uh, date table. And we'll just use calendar auto and hit enter. And as you can see, it gives us data from 1st of January 1980 to 31st of December 2017. Now this calendar auto function also has the ability to get, uh, you can pass an integer value and uh, make changes to the date. So it says any DAX expression that returns an integer from one to 12. So for example, if I just say calendar auto two and hit enter, it gives me data till 28th of February, 2017 only. So it gives me data from 1st of March, 1980 till February 19 uh, till February 2017. So we can we can change this and get different data or get different data ranges depending on what what we pass as the date the month name. So this is one way to use the calendar auto function is you could build your date dimension using this function. And this would automatically filter the data on the basis of the date ranges you have. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video.